Wolf Pack Dave here with another video. I know it's been forever, but 2023 was definitely a struggle, man. In any case, I'm still going through it, but I'm gonna try to get back to some content creating because I have a couple of wicked ideas I think I have in mind, and I figured I'd bring you guys along for the ride. Um, for example, this video is gonna be mostly about my Mustang and some custom work I'm planning on doing to the car. Previously, I've already upgraded its uh, cold air intake, gave it a mod, and gave it a whole new suspension kit with a steering angle kit for that front drive suspension. So I'm starting to set a good ground foundation for like a drift car on it. Um, unfortunately now, I'm you know, in the struggle bus regarding like finances and whatnot. But I hate just seeing the car just standing there and I recently came up with some cool ideas that aren't as expensive but pretty rad and will give me the excuse to continue working on my car for a bit. Because yeah guys, I originally planned on make, maybe appearing this year at Fuel Fest in DFW. But a bunch of things fell through on my end, so that may not end up happening. In any case, maybe <laughs> next year. Enough of that. Time to spill the beans on what I'm going to work on. And that's going to be the car's appearance. Um, now, generally, that also, you know, is a lot of money. You're talking about, like, body kits. And those things are expensive in and of themselves. But... I'm a big DIYer, so I'm pretty confident and I can, you know, make the parts of my own. Not only that, but I'm well versed in 3D printing technology, aka engineer over here. And three, I'm sure I can mix all these technologies to make some custom fabrication work possible. Hell yeah, baby. You know, I'm talking one of one. Yeah, like being original, man. That's why I also like customizing cars. There's that, you know, beauty behind it. In any case, in order to help my cause to grow as I go with this project, I'm gonna start small and simple. And so I decided to go ahead and target the front grill of my Mustang. Now, it currently has its basic stock, like, grill. And by now it's like faded as F. And, you know, I could just, it's about time to replace that part anyways. And I don't know if you guys seen the latest Mustangs, but their RTR kits especially, that front grille has been mm, spot on on design, man. Like, it looks rad. I like, hella rad. <laughs> Unfortunately, you know, my car's like hella outdated to, you know, for it to have like a kit like that. I'm really liking that grill from the latest RTR spec uh, Mustangs. So I'm going to definitely design a new grill based off that. Now here's like a Google picture of the latest Mustang. I believe this is the Dark Horse Mustang, but it has the RTR spec uh, equipment. Um, check out the grill, man. Clean. Clean. And I love these like LED accents, like they just look dope. Like total drifter-esque concept right there. Alright guys, so here is Blender, a 3D modeling software. It's free to use, so I highly recommend anyone who's good at picking up software to pick this up because it's very powerful software. So much like as this video shows I'm about to extend its power into automotive development or automotive body. Well, actually you can also use this for legit like mechanics, components, design, everything man, everything. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting too excited. Back to it. So as you can see I already have a mock-up of a grill going on in Blender and I'm messing with some concept designs on how I'm gonna be getting a similar style into this and since it's my 2010 Mustang like I'm just gonna go easy 
I already removed all the hexagonal design looking mesh and I'm just gonna like extrude the side fangs and then keep everything around the horse like deleted that way it has like massive airflow which is cooling the engine and the bay so that's like high level like concept thoughts behind like this piece and so once I'm finished like actually like designing everything uh, then I can go ahead and 3d print this yeah so anything I create in this modeling software I can now 3d print and just to show you guys here's an example so for example this is a test run that I'm currently 3d printing and it's a sample run of the stock grill I just want to see how like the 3D printing comes out. Okay, so this is my 3D printer that I'm currently using to test print the grill piece. It's currently printing at one tenth scale. <laughs> And right now I'm just doing this just to have like a, a sample. But yeah, it's as easy as that. Design it in 3D and then 3D print it. And then once it's 3D printed, I can go ahead and slap it directly onto the Mustang. Cause this is a one-to-one -one replica. Hell yeah. So yeah guys, I'm pretty excited for this uh, little project that I have going on. Hopefully it's gonna come out badass because if it does I'm already planning on you know maybe doing like a whole on body kit for it giving the stang a white body stance and everything you know flare out those fenders uh, I'd actually love to give it like maybe like a cyberpunk like looking look to it but I'm barely in the concept design phase, so we'll see where we go. If you guys have any ideas or thoughts on the matter, put them in the comments below, and we'll see how this project turns out. Hopefully, eventually, maybe someday, it'll end up like a short car, but we'll see. In the meantime, I'm gonna get back to it, get back to the hustle, and catch you guys later.